Hey everyone, Frederick here with Keto Kettlebell. I'm going to show you, I think I'm on week six actually. I was going to show you the end of week five uh, video errors and things, but I'm going to show you the uh, my workout, uh, my warm up, and then uh, my workout uh, for day one, week six of uh, Double Kettlebell Manifesto Genesis, which is just a bunch of presses. I think more presses this week uh, and a little bit lighter on squats. Squats were pretty heavy last week. Uh, today's pretty easy. Four sets, two exercises, presses, squats. Uh, it's a nice program to get you warmed up. I'm going to start off with some kettlebell halos and some uh, goblet squats with a... Uh, I'm going to do an inverted goblet squat, and I'll say why here in a second. But um, the kettlebell halos and the goblet squats come from the Simple and Sinister program. It's a great warm-up. I find that it has helped my shoulders a lot. And the goblet squats not only have helped my press, or not my press, but rather my squat, but also just sort of opening up the hips as well as the paraspinals uh, so that I can actually get deep into a squat without some assistance. Now, the way I'm going to be doing a, when I'm down in the squat, I'm going to be doing some curls. The curls are actually going to be with the bell up. Uh, most goblet squats, the handles are up. But what I'm trying to do is really focus on an inverted uh, or a pronated grip, um, which you get a little bit of uh, with the hand in this position. Because what I want to focus on is this brachioradialis muscle, this guy right there. Uh, and what that does is help out in a lot of other areas. Um, Michael Eckert, I believe is his name, and I'll try to put the link in the description below. World record holder for pull-ups, uh, re something ridiculous. Uh, but anyways, he's got a new program out. I'll, I'll uh, send that link in the bottom. Uh, just how to do more pull-ups. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, enjoy the music that I will be playing as I zip through the workout here. I'm going to be listening to uh, uh, Seam, uh, Seamland uh, with uh, one of his latest podcast uh, videos uh, on YouTube. So have fun. today. Um, more presses, less squats. Uh, sometimes you'll have no squats or extra presses or extra squats. Uh, great little program Wednesday when I do this again. <sighs> Woo! I'm going to end up sharing, uh, well I might, may not, probably not end up sharing that one, but that one I'm going to go from the 20s up to the 24s. Less reps, which is going to be nice so I can work up to, this is a medium heavy week, um, more presses, um, and then the heavy day on Wednesday. Uh, next week, lighter week, three days, but still a lot of work, whereas week eight, lots of sets, uh, and one of those sets is going to be, the Wednesday set, uh, is going to be all 24s, so eh, we'll see. I feel good right now, a little winded. I was taking a two-minute break, 
Hector recommends a two to three minute break uh, between sets. And uh, I feel comfortable at two, but if you noticed one of those, I was ready to go early. In fact, I was ready to go at about 90 seconds of rest. Purposely did it. That was about that was going into the third set because I knew I had five presses. And previously, if you noticed, I sort of flubbed the left side. So I may be a little bit out of adjustment, which might be playing into things. But in short, it's a great program. Lots of good stuff. Head over to strongasheck.com uh, to learn more about the program. Totally worth it. Uh, it's a $50 program. Get his uh, free, you know, sign up for his free newsletter, and uh, you get get the bonus. It was an easy, it was an easy sale uh, when he made it. So, um, no affiliate links associated. It's all his, uh, it all goes in his pocket. Uh, this has been a fasted workout because I had lunch, uh, finished lunch before two o'clock, so it's now seven o'clock. So I've had five six hours uh, without food and. I didn't add branched chain amino acids. A lot of people do. Um, I know uh, Robert Sykes recommends that over at Keto Savage, but I have backed off on that because I know I can get my leucine levels up. My ketones were at 2.0 this morning, 3.0 yesterday. I need to blog, uh, blog blog about that because there's something that went on yesterday that I want to share uh, that was sort of off. Um, any case, thanks for watching. Frederick with Keto Kettlebell. Subscribe, like. Hit the bell and uh, tell your friends if you like what you're seeing.